now I'm driving a Audi R8 V10 Plus with an aftermarket supercharger. This is how I got it. We were looking for an R8 for a little while and I saw this um, ridiculous looking gold R8 in the auction and I knew right away that it was supercharged. Um, the hit looked pretty bad though uh, from when I first looked at it. So I was a little hesitant, but then I was like, oh, maybe I could find out a little more information on this car. It's not that common that you see a gold R8 that's supercharged. So I, um, I Google gold R8 supercharged, and then I learned about Tanner and about how he owned the car, what he did to the car. Um, I, I learned how he crashed, which is helpful in a lot of ways. Um, I, I saw right away that the windshield wasn't broken. Um, I saw that, you know, no airbags deployed. And I also know that that spot in the rear quarter panel where the wheel ripped off was a, was a weak spot on these cars. Uh, not only R8, but also Lamborghini. thing about that wrap that he put on was that um, it actually protected a lot of the paint. Um, so when I took it off, it was almost like brand new. One thing that's hard when you're fixing a, a salvage car is it's always good to try to save everything you can, you know? So for instance, this hood was a little bit damaged. Instead of replacing the hood, you want to save it. So what makes it tough is when there's scratches everywhere which is normally the case when you have a, a salvage car, but because that film was over it, it actually protected a lot of the, um, the paint. And um, it was just kind of concentrating in that corner, but there wasn't scratches all over the hood. Um, the roof, uh, the roof was, was tough. Um, he, my guy just pretty much took a hammer, we took down the headliner, he just pounded that roof until it was almost perfect and uh, yeah, put a little bit of Bondo in there, sanding, Bondo, sanding, there's so much sanding on the roof until finally it was that perfect smoothness. Um, on the side where it looked like he took a can opener and he, uh, you know, someone cut open the, the rocker here. Um, actually what we did is uh, we got a piece of aluminum a flexible piece of aluminum and we actually put it over the spot that was damaged um, and then just welded it on. It's damaged underneath but you can't tell by looking at it. You could actually look at it and it looks like brand new. So the most important part of the repair was putting this frame element piece back in place. We purchased this frame element piece from a wrecking yard in Ohio and this is one of those things where it has to be perfect because this is what holds the control arms in place 
and once we lined it up perfectly, then we welded it, and now we're ready to put the suspension on. We bought all the suspension parts new. The hub, the spindle, the axle, the control arms. The drive of this car is everything, and I just wanted to make sure that all the mechanical components were purchased new. Now there are certain parts that I had to buy used, otherwise this wouldn't be cost effective to fix. The bumper, the door, the rocker, cosmetic things I purchased used. redirected the, um, the coolant lines to incorporate this cooler in the front for the supercharger, which I thought was, was pretty amazing. Once everything was lined up and the car was driving, now we're ready for paint. Uh, we chose to use a DuPont paint with a DuPont clear. Uh, it's a very uh, high quality paint and the metallics are very similar to the factory, almost the same. And, um, this is the icing on the cake. The paint job is the icing on the cake. Yeah, and then and then that exhaust. The exhaust is, is uh, amazing. Would you look at that sunset? Uh, the exhaust uh, is titanium, and how I found that out was from the accident. There's a little hole, and nobody could weld it. Um, I actually ended up having to replace that one section. Um, so. Yeah, I took it to about 10 different welders and, and nobody could weld it. Nobody had the equipment to weld titanium. It's just, it just sounds different, you know, like uh, the note of an exhaust sounds different coming out of metal or aluminum or uh, titanium. It just, it just sounds different. Titanium is a really lightweight metal and it's extremely strong. like the way the way that the exhaust is kind of formulated it, it doesn't have a lot of like places where air can escape like most exhausts do and like I've gotten cheap exhaust like on eBay or something for like 300 bucks and you just kind of you know put the pipes together but I'm sure if you ran like a smoke test it would come out all these different this thing is just you know it's so solid all the way through
So I just want to say thank you for watching my video. I uh, really appreciate it. And uh, I can't wait to show you uh, the next car that we do.